Well, hey, y'all. I'm Dusty from Fox Holler Homestead, and it's another Tuesday. It's Tower Crane Tuesday. So, there's a lot of questions that come up in consideration to what kind of job I do, what my job consists of, how I got my job, um, how long I've been doing my job. But, uh, and there's some amazing questions. I love answering them. Uh, but the number one question the number one tippy top question, and you could probably verify this if you ever get a chance to uh, talk to another tower crane operator, is uh, where do I go to the bathroom? Now, I don't know why this is number one. It is what it is, but it's, I mean, it's on the back of people's heads. It's not very often that you get to talk to, to someone that does this job. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much my number one question is where do you guys go to the bathroom up there? I mean, because we are technically, I mean, uh, we climb first thing in the morning. And uh, typically, like today, for example, I climbed at 4 o'clock a.m. And uh, I think we're only working an eight-hour day today because the temperature is so hot. But so that's eight hours. I'm sitting eight hours in a uh, six-foot by four-foot box all day long. Now, I am able to walk back, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, now, there's two there's two ways to go to the bathroom. Uh, there's two versions. Uh, one is number one, and uh, that is typically going to be handled with this. I'm just going to show the name. Uh, that that's pretty much how it works. We go in a bottle. Um, now, some carry is like these. I mean, they're. I drink water all the time to stay hydrated, and um, so I have empty bottles. And what better way to to utilize the bottles and uh, is to fill them up. But uh, and then after that, I will carry them down in a big bag and dispose of them correctly. And uh, but the most important is uh, number two. Now again, I find it comical that that's my number one question. That's the number one question that people ask. Where do you go to the bathroom up there? Number two. Um, so without further ado, before I go, before I show you and reveal this amazing secret that has been held on by all of the elders for so long, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, it helps out the channel immensely, helps us keep on doing what we're doing. And uh, like I said, without further ado, let's check it out. Now. Just in case you guys wanted to know how I got up here, that's it down there. Now, isn't that a beautiful sight? Yeah. So. This is called a counter jib. This is the back of the crane. And uh, this is where your hoist motor, all that stuff is, your counterweights back there. I'll go over that in another video. But uh, before I reveal my giant secret, here's Mount Rainier off in the distance. Man, it is just such a beautiful day. So we're here for the final question. The answering to all of your dreams, all your confusions, all of your wonder, all of your questions. Where does a tower crane operator dookie? Well, I'm sitting on it. This right here is called, well, it's my version. It's called the dookie pot. Now, it's basically just a, a bucket. And as you can see, it is a toilet, got a nice little seat on there, and uh, I take that, put a little bag in there, and uh, some uh, toilet paper, what have you, and not that you guys want to know all about it, but you asked, so put some toilet paper in there, something that is absorbent, and uh, do my business. Then once that's done, again, wrap it up in a bag, and it gets disposed of properly. But the simple fact is, is yes, no, I don't climb all the way down. 
absolutely not. Um, I'm 140 feet up here, and, and actually, that's really not that high. But uh, no, I don't climb down to go to the bathroom. Everything is done up here. Oh. Um, my chair swivels around so I can bring my uh, my dookie pot inside the cab. <laughs> yeah, that's weird that I'm even talking about this. Uh, I bring my dookie pot inside the cab and I do my business and I got the best view ever. I can sit here and look at Mount Rainier or look at the Cascade Mountains and I mean, if there's no better view in the world. Who gets to take a dookie at the top of the world? Who gets to take a, a dookie and look at this beautiful scenery? Who gets to take a dookie and look at all that? Now granted, uh, there is people down there. But uh, for the most part, they can't see me. I've got shades inside the cab. But there you go. You're officially educated on how us as tower crane operators do our business. And uh, I hope that I feel like the world is a better place. Yeah, I feel like the world is a better place now that this information is out there. I feel better about myself. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? What did you actually think we did? Climb down every time? No. We're too lazy for that. But, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Tower Crane Tuesday. If you have any comments whatsoever, if you have any questions whatsoever about tower cranes or cranes in general, about this kind of job, please leave those in the comments. And uh, until next time, I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead, and it's Tower Crane Tuesday. And uh, I got nothing but love and blessings for each one of you guys out there. And until then, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.